Hey everybody, it's Les Do It Wednesdays with your host, Melissa Green. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Melissa from Let's Do It Wednesdays. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different. This is my friend Benji, and he's gayer than a $10 bill. Okay, so. $10 bills aren't gay, but okay. Yes, okay. So, um, Benji. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, so um, he's just going to come in from time to time, you know, help me out with some stuff. Because, yep. so, um, Benji, today's topic is worst Valentine's dates. Oh, God. Can you please tell me one of your worst, and I mean worst, Valentine's dates? Okay. Um, I've only really had probably like three actual like Valentine's dates. Mm -hmm. um, I think hand down my worst had got to be, um, I traveled probably about an hour and a half on a go train to yeah. a small town near Guo mm -hmm. and spent the night with this really awesome guy there and then came back and broke up with him when I was on the train back. And made him, he made me feel like a complete piece of shit on my way back on Valentine's Day. And it was just really bad. He broke up with you on... No, no, I, I broke up with him. Because he made you feel like shit. No, 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 he made me feel like shit for breaking up with him on Valentine's Day. That's... <laughs> this was, video is supposed to be for us heartbreak people who are... No, no, but there was another guy involved too. So basically I like jumped this other guy. Well, we weren't really dating, so I... Ended things with this other guy, so I could date this other boy, and then he dumped me, like, three weeks later. So I basically got rid of this one really great, great guy on Valentine's Day, so I could be with this other guy, and then I wound up with none. Karma! Yeah, karma! <laughs> I am a terrible human being. I'm probably the only person who would actually break up with someone over a text message on a go train on Valentine's Day. On a go train? Yeah. I'm a terrible person. I'm oh. sorry. Okay, let's go to our next question. Let's go! Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. Here. Here's Melissa. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Okay, see, you're wondering why where I'm wearing this jacket right now. I am wondering why you're wearing that jacket right now. I'll tell you why I'm wearing that jacket right now. Tell me. I'm going to ask you a little gay questionnaire. Cause all right. I, all right, now... Oh my god, I look like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> hey, don't hate. Ellen's amazing. I know Ellen's amazing, but um, how can Ellen get Portia Del Rossi? Because she's Ellen and she's fucking hysterical. Ellen's hysterical. Like, I could be funnier than Ellen DeGeneres no, I, and I, I, I couldn't get Pussy to Save My Life. You got plenty of pussy. Okay, let's not get into my personal life. Okay, alright. So, do you... I have one question for you. Okay. Do you think that when you gay people have Valentine's Day, that it can be better than straight people's? Like, can they make it better because, like, you know, we're awesome and creative and shit like that? Um, I think, like, long-term couples can because we kind of have to fight to prove that we love per a person, that we have to overcome all stereotypes. Like, gay people just want to fuck each other all the time. Sorry, I thought that probably shouldn't have said the effort. Um, whereas straight people are just like, oh, look, you know, we can do whatever we want. But gay people, we kind of have to prove that we love someone more. Mm -hmm. So I think our Valentine's Day are more over the top. I mean, yeah. we're gay, we're flamboyant, we're amazing. Um, but yeah, I think definitely our Valentine's Day can be better. That's awesome. Now, um, since like my topic today is like worst, mm -hmm. like Valentine's dates. Yeah. Do you think that they can be any different from a heterosexual? Or is it just like, you know, it can be the same either way? Like the worst Valentine's dates? I think gay ones definitely have the potential to be worse. Um, mm -hmm. Imagine you weren't out of the closet and your boyfriend died. Then you rose at your house. Who are these roses from? I don't know. Why do they say from Bob? I don't know. Why do they think for all the great members? You know, like... I, I totally... Accidentally being outed by Valentine's Day, good gestures, that kind of thing. Yeah, I totally that understand. That could definitely magnify the worthness of it. I totally kind of understand what you're saying. I... I remember when I went to a girl's house for Valentine's Day, her name, she'll learn her name, Nameless. Okay. Bitch. But, um, this is what happened. I came to her house. I had a lovely dinner reservation. I did everything 1950s classic, and guess what she did? She dumped she, you. She just went there with another girl. <gasps> and apparently well, we weren't dating. That's a little bit unfortunate. I love you. Fuck you.
No hetero. No hetero. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the end. Let's go. <laughs> Benji, I'd like to thank you for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I'm going to have him a lot more on here because I really like this boy. I've been friends with him for how long now? Like almost a year or two. Mwah. I think we went on two years, actually. <laughs> oh, God. It's so much makeup. <laughs> Bit please, I know how to put on foundation properly. Okay. Oh! Okay. So, this is a little thing I do when I'm done a video. Here, let me show you. It's called Internet High Five. Like, I'll end the video, I'll go, Internet High Five! Okay. Okay. Let's do that. One. Okay. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye. Okay. One, two, three. Internet yeah. High Five! Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, just keep the five. Internet 5. I'll see you Internet guys later. Five. Bye.